cool. All right, this is officially the last video. These go with the messy desk. I, I, I promise it will be it will be clean the next time you see it. It'll be great. You'll love it. Oh my goodness. Okay, today I have another customer camera for me. Boom. The customer just wanted me to go over this super program that he picked up, make sure it works. But I figured I would walk you guys through this process as well because the expectation with this is that I'm not gonna have to do any repairs. So I'm just gonna inspect this as a camera. He sent the lens as well. So I'm gonna inspect the lens, make sure that that's operating as it should. And then I'm gonna do a clean of the camera put new light seals on if it needs it, and then ship it back. It should be a really quick, easy job, so I just wanted to jump on to it. So, without further ado, let us begin. So first, what I always do, just take off the lens. Lenses are typically a little bit bulkier, and this is a 50 one four, so there's a lot of glass in here, so it has a good heft to it, and inspecting these is usually fairly simple. Just wanna make sure that the blades open and close, and then when you close them up all the way, there's this little thing here, this little tab. It's kind of hard to, hard to see. There it is. Just want to make sure that the blades open and close in correlation with the tab, and then hold it up to a light, and you can see if there's any kind of particles in there, and it looks like it's all just kind of on the front glass. So that will be cleaned off shortly. That's just quick wipe and clean and the focus throw seems to be good skin is on there tight cool beans so we'll set that aside because don't need to worry about that and now we have the super program it's very underrated this was also this was marketed in other countries as the super a which I think I prefer the uh, as weird as that sounds um, I prefer the Super A logo as opposed to the Super Program, but that's just me being particular. Uh, we can see that these batteries have clearly gone bad. There are some definite signs of bulging on that flat side there. And then also, if that wasn't enough, um, I've never seen that color before, so that's, that's always fun. Safe to say that the batteries are not good. Fortunately, I have spares somewhere. And these are the LR44 357 1.5 volt batteries. And as with most of these Pentax cameras, the negative side will go up, so positive side is down. And then any kind of coin will typically work. Nickels are the best, cheaper than quarters at least. Okay, that's on, good, good. All right, we're, we're already seeing some readout on the display. That's, there is film in here. Okay. Interesting. Is that shot 10 there? So we're just going to, uh, from what the, the customer told me, they essentially just packaged up the camera as soon as they got it and sent it over. So, some, oh dang, I love this film. It's hella old though, so it's probably pretty fried, but still, it's good stuff. Coat of Color VR. There was a whole marketing campaign on this because this was back when Kodak was kind of on top of their business. They just uh, created a new compound for coloring layers, and so they had like much more, uh, I think the they changed the crystal composition as well, but. Anyway, okay, so it's waking up a little bit. Um, the LED readout is kind of working. That's right there. Check the self timer here.
Okay, so that's very interesting because typically what will happen, especially when you see stuff like the batteries I just showed you, they've clearly been sitting in there a while. This camera has evidently not had power for a while. And so I think that's kind of why we're seeing a lot of these random failures. Depth of field preview lever is working. The shutter speed seemed to be working on all the speeds. What I did was just put it on manual and cycled through. The readouts both seem to be working. Manual speed works, auto speed seems to work. Uh, 125 works, bulb works. I'm getting full movement through all of this. And the frame counter works. And outside of that, that's pretty much the inspection that I do. Also the rewind lever system works as I had to pull the film out and the advance works. Something to note about these, this is like this piece here, it's a bit of like a softer rubber kind of stopper as opposed to something of the more, this is, this is metal, clearly. It's a metal piece, some of them are plastic, but for the most part it's like, they're all kind of the same. This is, this is a rubber piece and it's circular and I think the program plus has a the same kind of rubber piece but it goes into a different shape and I think the p3 has the same kind of deal but the point being is this is like almost exclusive to the super program and I've very rarely seen these on and then also in good shape because sometimes they'll be missing or sometimes they'll like an edge will be torn off or something but it is really hard to get under here to take it off to get the top pulled off but that point aside very good condition camera there's there's a few little causes of concern around here but overall everything seems to be looking okay okay so i need to test the voltages on both of those batteries because one of them is not good but put new batteries in and it's working like a dream the viewfinder is impeccably clean we'll see if i can I did this the other day where I was able to show the viewfinder. Look at that, look at how clean that is. You can see down there the readout. We'll do a, do a little bit of a clean on it, get rid of the growth that's in there, put new light seals on it, and then I will probably record a quick walkthrough because I don't think I have a super program walkthrough. So we'll do all of that and then get it back in the mail because this is pretty much done. Yeah, overall, I'd say fantastic condition. Just needs a little bit of, little, little bit of TLC, kind of get it to that like excellent level, and then I'll ship it back in the mail. So, thank you for watching. I hope you learned a little something. Remember, if your super program uh, is displaying three small little circles, such as it would if you have it at the, it's 1000 minus the one. So those three zeros there, that means that your batteries are a little low. So the more you know, and I'm very happy that it wasn't the connection to the battery unit itself because that does happen with the with the ME Super sometimes and similar cameras where the battery wire will become detached from the holder. Very common in the Nikons, very common in the ME Supers, and the only way to access it is to remove the mirror box and that's just just a pain so don't have to do that super stoked pentax super program catch you on the next one